Hey guys, this is Paul, the Sultan of Stuff. I'm outside of Goodwill right now. I just uh, went there during my lunch break, which I do often just to catch up on anything new that's coming in through the Goodwill stores and thrift stores. And um, today I found a few things and I thought it'd be a great time to talk a little bit about the power of smalls. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? All right, first, um, CDs, compact discs, are not the hot thing. You know, vinyl is coming back, it's a big deal, and it costs a lot of money, and old vinyl is becoming really expensive, like used old vinyl. But CDs are surprisingly still really collectible, and there are a lot of people out there still looking for things on compact disc. Um, a lot of the thrift stores have not caught up to that yet, and that's where you can make possibly a lot of money on a lot of little smalls. Now, here at this Goodwill, um, they have a deal of get 10 CDs for $3. Wow, that is an amazing deal. That's what, like 28 cents each, if my math is right. So today, I uh, just happened to see some new ones coming through here. Um, things that, you know, some are not worth much, like this great KD Lang CD, which I highly recommend just for listening. Um, not worth much. But then like this Dave Brubeck, uh, obscure... Brubeck in Chattanooga, Christmas-themed CD. And of course, he, this is a newer one, he's older. But I looked this up and there's one selling for $40. Now, whether or not it does sell is a different matter. But, um, you know, what are you gonna lose if this thing's sold for 10? Uh, that's still like almost complete profit. Um, Avenged Sevenfold, um, a little more obscure, a little more, um, you know, fringy uh, stuff, but wow, those who collect this stuff want it, and this thing probably will sell for 10 to $15. Dinosaur Jr., old, collectible, people love that who are into it, uh, also 10 to $15 probably, um, and some others that I got. So I got 10, imagine that I sold them for no more than $5 each, $50. So I spent three on that. It's a no-lose situation. And if one doesn't sell after a ton of time, you know, if you're selling on eBay or whatever, if something doesn't sell after a long time, just give it back to Goodwill. Like, you're out nothing. And in the meantime, the others you sold in that deal uh, have already paid for it, and everything else is profit. So it's no big deal. Um, another thing, books always. Um, look for certain kinds of books. Um, Nonfiction is better than fiction in general. Trade paperbacks are awesome. And usually, the more obscure, the better um, in general. So when you see something you don't recognize, check it out, such as this book, which I had never seen before, Drawing Thought, and inside is just beautiful artwork. I don't know if you can see it here, but like it's just gorgeous stuff, almost poetic, you know, it's one of those kind of books. I, I go looking for books all the time and I'd never seen it before, so I checked it out and lo and behold, I can probably get $20 out of it. So again, 99 cents, $20 no lose situation. Now, one more thing I found today. A nice little tackle box. No big deal, right? I looked these up new. Um, they sell for like $18. So like, I probably wouldn't get much. Like I wouldn't sell this probably because it's too bulky and the shipping gets weird and it's just not worth it at that point. But I can use this for my tools. So this is a great uh, tackle box that I got for like $3. And Here's how I played this. There was no price on this. And like, I never suggest like taking a price off, but like if I find something that doesn't have a price, what I do is go up to the counter with my other stuff. And then I just sort of like this one, I just pulled it out and it's like, hey, here's this little, little tackle box. Um, what's what's up with this? How much do you think it's worth? You know, and, and just like, don't talk it up like you know it's like wow this great tackle box i just found please give me a good price on it you know i just went up and it's like this little tackle box which is true it is a little tackle box so um they gave it to me for like three dollars which is a great deal i can use this anyway so i just got this nice thing for three dollars but here's the deal inside there's some stuff some smalls 
nothing in the top shelf, right? But when I looked underneath, lo and behold, I found some fishing stuff. Now, we have a few little baits, you know, that, and some fishing string uh, wire line. Uh, you can tell I don't fish. This was going to be for tools. <laughs> but um, this, I don't know how much this runs, probably a few bucks. I can sell this. So let's let's call it um, two more dollars, right? These sell for about 10 new. This is new. As does this, and I saw some even higher, like $16 selling on eBay for this. And then this gulp, which is like, um, they're little crabs and things, the, the, the theme of it. And um, this I saw for sale for like 30, um, 30 or $40. So, all right, here's the deal. I got all of that for $3. And I didn't even talk when I went up to the counter. Of course they looked inside to see what was there, but I didn't talk about it. You know, it's like, I don't know, it was all there. Um, so they didn't think much of it either. They just looked at it all and said, okay, it's a fishing tackle box. We'll just give it to you for this. And they, they sort of didn't even count what was inside. And that's how you do that. Like, like you, you know, you don't be dishonest. Like I wanted them to look inside and see it. You know, it's like, you don't just stick things inside and hope they don't. You want them to see it and you want them, you know, you want to be fair with Goodwill or thrift stores or whatever. But like once they saw it, they didn't think much of it. And whoever put it out, whoever priced it, didn't think much of all that stuff. So that's fair. Um, so when they offered $3 for it, I thought, well, you know what? That would be the same as if I went to a yard sale. That would probably be like that. So it's like, great, we'll do that. And then I got out to the car and sort of tallied up what the deal really was. And it's like, what well, this thing, man, I got, I got it for three bucks and I probably will make $40 out of it conservatively. So, um, that's how you do that. Uh, look for little small things. It doesn't all have to be big grand gestures, you know, massive antiques roadshow kinds of finds. Um, your bread and butter are gonna be little things that are cheap and they're easy to ship. So that's all that. There is one more thing I wanna mention before I go, and it has to do with a specific book. As you know, the political climate has suddenly changed and somebody is fast becoming a very popular Democratic nominee. Um, Kamala Harris's book that she has out, when it's signed on the inside front, has already been selling for 500 to a thousand dollars. If you have one of her books, look and see if it's signed. Look and see if there's a signature in there. Um, if not, like I am, go to thrift stores and Goodwills and whatever and look for that book. Look for any Kamala Harris book and then look and see if it happens to be signed. If it's signed, you have landed on a hefty pile of cash. Um, and if you do have one or if you find one, I would suggest holding on to it for a little while. See how this whole thing goes and um, if she becomes our next president, um, the value of that book is gonna go skyrocketing because her, her th gig is gonna be so symbolic on so many levels and it's gonna matter. It's gonna matter to history, it's gonna matter to collectibles. So that's my thought. I am eager to find one of those books, man. I just know it's out there. And if it shows up, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, uh, have a great day and keep thrifting.